My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire modded. Now, we have a bunch of mods installed right now. Let's go through them. We've got base mod, replay the spire, the construct, always whale fetch mod. These ones we've had for a while. We've also got mad science mod back from T1v1. And the witch, Guy Grayzok, as the witch character, and the hoarder. Now, the witch and mad science mod have been added back in because they are dependencies, along with the construct, for the evil pickles silly little character mod that he made in an hour oh boy why do i feel like i should be terrified right now well because i was warned to be terrified all right where are we hoarder <laughs> so stick figure and it says hi okay we've got binging soul once per room when you add a card to your get deck gain two max hp Prayer Wheel, no, normal enemies drop an additional card reward, and Eternal Feather for every five cards in your deck, heal to HP whenever you enter a rest site. So it's a thick deck. It's a thick deck? I gotta be a thick deck daddy for this one. <laughs> this is torture. This is torture, frankly. Binging soul. I'm gonna pull it up. <laughs> it does have a, does have a different description for her. All right, uh, let's get a random common... Co oh, also, have a look at this one. We've got a Mind Blast in this deck already, as well as just various different colors. Cycle if your draw pile has more than 20 cards. Oh, that's actually really interesting. Oh, okay. So our deck is going to get better by having less junk in it if we have more cards, interestingly enough. That's... That's pretty interesting. And stack, gain block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile, as well as mind burst, deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. So we are going to want to get as many cards as is humanly possible here. Mind burst. Oh, it's not even mind blast. It's mind burst. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't have an upgrade. <laughs> uh, so as I was warned, this is a little bit of a silly mod that was brought around basically to torture me. So, let's begin the torture. Trade my random boss relic? No. Obtain a random common relic. Seven max HP for the strawberry. Sure. Okay. Well, I am going to still want to try and kill as many things as humanly possible. I also don't know what character pool we're going to be drafting from. So I don't know how aggressive I can really afford to be. Well, here's a two elite path. We should be able to handle that. Oh, we actually start off with two orb slots. That's atypical. All those defense left in our hand. All right. Uh, mind burst for nothing. Mm, sounds good. Let's hit him with the double strike and then a stack for seven defense. Oh, I'm finally going to use stack. I wonder if I actually... If I find aggregate, I'm definitely going to use it, but... This mind burst is innate. Why was it not in my opening hand? I don't... I don't get it. Okay. Three strikes in the next hand, we've got the kill. There's one, and there's the other two. Beautiful. Okay. White noise, predator, and analyze. I don't even know what powers would be pulled by white noise. I'm actually really tempted to take it. Sure. And Gnarled's body. What is this? Costs one less for each card in hand. Gain 15 block. Oh, okay. So this must be from probably the witch. Yeah, that seems like it would be. Are we going to have a particularly thick deck? I don't know. I think we're going to have a lot of garbage in the deck. So we can probably make use of a, a prepared. You once double defense, single strike for the front lines, easy. This mind blast is not, um, strictly speaking, working. Raven familiar, at the start of your turn, add a raven to your hand, removes your other familiar power, sure. I'll give it a go. All right, here's a raven. Ethereal, upgrade a card in your hand and reduce its cost by one for the rest of the combat. That's actually not that bad. Quite interesting. Okay, and then this gets upgraded and it actually loses all text. Except for, you know, the amount of damage it deals. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be a little broken. 
but the main point is to torture me. Um, when drawn, apply vulnerability to a random enemy two times. Deals five damage four times. That's, that's a lot. That's pretty good. And four score. Is that ever going to be useful? Perfected strike. I mean, we do have some strikes in the deck. I'm going to make a thick deck, so sure, I guess. I might end up with a bunch of strikes. Who knows? I'm actually kind of tempted to even take this. Because if the deck is thick enough, curses won't really affect me that much. Okay. Oh, I've actually got to turn off my side screen because my side screen has the mod the spire thing and it's actually showing me way, way too much information. All right. And then deal that with the damage. Easy. All right. Two will get us the kill. Beautiful. Right of Summer. So we're seeing a lot of new cards here because I've never played the Witch mod on the channel before. I don't believe the Witch is currently updated. So I don't know if I could even play it by itself without it crashing the game. Right of Summer. Discard any number of cards in hand and deal five damage to a random enemy for each card discarded. Upgrade is seven. And Fragmentation Grenade we've seen before in the Mad Science mod. I'm going to go with the Wild Strike. Increase my perfected strike build. Oh my god, let's make it let's make it a hoarder perfected strike build, I guess. Um definitely got a mind burst, but I've also got to defend, unfortunately. White noise for clockwork assistant. At the start of your turn, draw a card and play it. Nice. That's what I thought. The white noise is gonna be getting all of the uh, it'll be picking up all of the powers from all of these different classes, and a lot of them are more powerful than even the powers for the base classes. Quick Slash is not a cut, unfortunately. Could take an Infernal Blade there. Heavy Bolt Probe and Well Laid Plans. So I'll take a Probe as well as an Infernal Blade there. Don't upgrade any of them. Oh, probe is actually garbage for me because it's going to put a lot of things in my discard pile that I won't really be able to use. Right. So I'm not going to discard the carving or the mind burst, in fact, because that's going to apply vulnerability and then make immediate use of it. Pretty damn good. We could kill this turn, depending on draw. That'll do it. Bottled Flame upon pickup, choose an attack card. At the start of each combat, that attack card will be in your opening hand. So, like, I kind of, I have to put it on Mind Burst? Because Mind Burst is not innate. It's not working. So, here we go. <laughs> and Predator doesn't seem like a bad pickup there. Smith. The perfected strikes, they're probably going to be a lot about damage. Okay. Yep, I'm going to open up on the fight right now. It's a pretty good hand to open up with, let's be real. Cycling station, whenever you draw a trinket, draw a card. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm actually going to discard both of those, and that's just to increase the effectiveness of this stack. Okay. And oh, drop a doubt as well. The prepared has dropped that down twice now. That's excellent. Grave burst. Retain deal damage to all enemies equal to twice the number of attacks in your discard pile. Well, calipers at the start of your turn lose 15 block rather than all of it. Self repair is probably a great pickup here. Get us some healing that we don't really have at the moment. Girya, you can now gain strength at rest sites three times maximum. Uh, we can do that three times before we leave this floor. Hell yes. Extremely yes. Okay. Uh, I should have calculated that rather than just going off by feel. 
spin drive whenever you play a card, draw a card. So it's three times a turn. Infernal Blade, and that crashed the game. <laughs> I don't know what did it though. I guess I shouldn't be playing Infernal Blade. I think it's probably trying to give me a card that is broken from the Witch mod. That seems like what would probably be happening here. All right, we'll launch directly back into it. Come on. Game, please. Thank you. Hello, Mega Crit. That's not the right game screen either. Okay, continue. Well, at the very least, I get to redo my turn. Do it uh, better, I guess. That's to not split the spike slime that turn. And I'll also self-repair. That's a much better move there. Awesome. See, you know, this is how it was meant to be the entire time. All right. Uh, aggregate, definitely. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, reinforced body as well, because we have calibers, so an excess is actually kept. See, I definitely want to mind burst, but then the problem becomes I want to play the self repair. I guess as long as I play the self repair, I'm getting like four HP out of it effectively, despite the fact that I'm not fully blocking this turn. I'll also white noise first because white noise can give you self repair. It's just creative AI can't give you self repair. Okay. Add a card to this deck. Wretched nails. Draw one card, then deal damage equal to the number of cards you've drawn this turn. We don't have that much draw in this deck. Headbutt would be nice to put the Perfected Strikes back on top. But I also actually do want some defense. So I'm going to take a leap. And here I'll probably take another Prepared. Because we have garbage cards in our deck, the Prepared is a lot better than it usually would be for me. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> 23. 23. Just short of the kill on that one, friend. I'm gonna split the damage there. Which was almost certainly incredibly incorrect. And I'll gain out of shift your hand and draw two cards. Three on the upgrade. I do want the ability to draw. Accumulate, make a copy of a non-rare card in your draw pile. That's just gonna thicken up our draw pile. Which is good for a couple things. I mean, I guess that's good for perfected strike, right? Yeah. It'll make our strikes better. Unbalancing last. Swap your draw pile and your discard pile. If we get that at the very end... No, I can't really see where that's going to be useful for me. Just taking a little leap. I'm not going to turn down a card. Are you kidding me? They're cards. I get to have so many cards. Why would I ever turn them down? Well, the deck is thick enough that it's probably not going to be a severe negative to... Oh, shit. Shucks. I should have Mind Burst first. I'll use Power Potion here as well. This fight's not going to be fast enough for Wraith Form to really be good for us. But we'll try. Actually going to use the Artifacting here to prevent that weakness. Okay... Aggregate gets us some energy back. If I accept taking some damage this turn, I don't know if I want to. Ooh, memory tap. Hell yeah. Got another orb slot for using it? I guess that grants you an orb slot because that's the only way that it can make sure that if you get a construct card that gives you orbs, that you'll have the ability to use it. That's interesting. Catalyst is going to do nothing for us. I, I kind of want to accumulate the perfected strike in the deck and then use the other Perfected Strike. So I am going to take one damage there, and it's against <laughs> a buffer block, but 
still. Okay, we should just deal as much damage as is humanly possible this turn, so. Guess I'll be discarding both of those. Not going to be perfecting this boss. Damn, my score. I want to Infernal Blade, but I'm also terrified. Spin Drive. One of you play a card, draw a card. Sure. Ah, that's really unfortunate. It just moved us past the next perfected strike. Discard both of those. Strike. And then I get to stack for a ridiculous amount as well. Ooh, Bone Carving even turned up. I don't think I have another perfected strike in the deck at the moment, unfortunately. Mind burst at the very end of my deck. Damn. Come on. Hopefully I get it in the start of this hand. Here we go. Hey, we did. Get him. Nice. All right, Twitch. When drawn, gain two decks for one turn. Gain 14 block when I play it. Um, We're going to be picking up a lot of cards. I think I can take a bullet time here because... I'm just going to have so many damn cards that are going to be expensive. Sure. <laughs> Honey. Draw one more card each turn, retain up to one card each turn, an extra choice on card reward screens, but you can't skip rewards. The thing is, I need extra energy, so I have to go with this Philosopher's Stone. Not skipping rewards is fine for me, and an extra choice on card rewards would be fine. Drawing an extra card every time. <sighs> I want the extra energy because I have a lot of two costs that I want to play, but I, actually, I, I think I've argued myself out of it. I think I have to take the Honey Jar. Um, the Busted Crown, on Card Wars Greens, you have two fewer cards to choose from, but... I'm gonna take the Honey. I mean, I'm not turning down rewards anyway, so... What's the downside? Okay, three Elites this floor would be lovely. It's also a relatively early shot for me. Not a huge fan of the fact that we just took that down, but still... will survive I think um <clears throat> okay that can put a perfected strike back on top of the deck and then I can defend myself for a ridiculous amount <laughs> we may frail but it shouldn't matter because we're about to murder Poison Potion, as well as Omni Hammer. Seems like a really good pickup for me. There's also Explore Options, Draw Two Cards. When drawn, gain three block. Mm. Anger, no. Bone Carving, no. I could put Havoc in the deck, but that that's a thin. That's a thinning effect. I don't want that. All right. I'll... Definitely take the Omni Hammer. And I can't even skip here, by the way. Like, I can't leave. So, I'll take Explore Options. Pair upon pickup. Raise your max HP by 10. Sure. I mean, these are just more cards. Of course we're taking them. Uh, Twisted Funnel. At the start of each combat, apply four poison to all enemies. Not that bad. I'm going to take the Anchor and the Twisted Funnel, and then I am going to remove a card from my deck I know heresy. But for what it's worth, it was a curse. Okay. We're definitely playing Aggregate here. And then we can be prepared... That intangibility would have done nothing. We were already protected this turn. And it just would have worn off immediately afterwards. Take a total of one damage this turn. I'm going to try and retain this. It's not going to work. There we go. I just wanted to make sure that that interaction has not been changed since last I saw it. 
Easy. Watch him die. Uh, backflip for some defense and card draw. Seems good to me. Echo form. Hell yeah. Oh, wild strike though. It's another strike card. Yeah. Gotta take those strikes. It's currently our only win condition because this mind burst can't be in every hand. Probe is easy kill here. Stack is only going to get better. I'll keep it over the leap. Okay. Choose card to discard. Probably self repair, and then it's perfected strike probe. Steal as much damage as I possibly can here. We'll keep the stack. It's only going to get better. Uh, there's the aggregate, unfortunately. What do I want to discard here? Uh, I mean, I guess I drew this, so if I discard it, yeah, it'll still apply its effect. So I'll bullet time, then aggregate to get one back. It's only going to be enough to play the Omni Hammer for one. I got two intangibility, so this turn, when you do your attack, it's not going to be that bad. In fact, I'm already protected against it. Okay. We'll discard that to put that back in the shuffle. Choose a card to retain. Probably accumulate, I guess. Gosh, the wild strikes. Um, all right, let's get rid of one of the defensive cards because we're not going to be using them, right? All right, I'm going to copy the upgraded perfected strike. That goes back in the draw pile as well. And this is basically just so I can try and kill this gremlin leader as quickly as possible. Increase my chance of drawing the perfected strike as well as the effect of the perfected strike. One, two. Easy. If I can get a bottled lightning, I'm going to put that aggregate in our opening hand. Bird face down, whenever you play a power, heal for 2 HP as well as virus. <laughs> if only. Um, this will make our deck thick. Still not that great, though. Take the Sweeping Beam, get a little bit of AoE in here, as well as some damage. So I need to upgrade the other Perfected Strike. I am really reliant on these Perfected Strikes because it, there are so many different characters' cards in this mod that it is going to be really difficult to make a consistent strategy. Uh, whereas every character has strikes. Well, not all characters have strikes, but most characters have some strikes. Something named strike. Definitely take a Jax. Why? Because it's a card. How close? Uh, Master Core, at the start of each combat, sh shuffle three random cores into your draw pile. Ooh. The deck only gets thicker. Okay. I'll retain accumulate. <laughs> Get seven healing by the end of this as well. Gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna drop that and I'm gonna keep the bullet time. Still got some expensive cards in that deck. Yeah. A hand like this seems to prove my point. Fuel potion. Gain two fuel. All right, of course. I forgot about that. Uh, Recycle is probably really good because we have a lot of expensive cards we don't really want a lot of the time. Any of these other ones useful for me? Draw until you draw a zero cost card. We have one prepared, two prepared, and jacks. Those are our only zero costs. Yeah, probably not worth it. Guess I'll take an Omni Hammer here. And a recycle. 
This is very quickly going to stop being viable, by the way. Just you wait. Oh my god, this aggregate though. Hell yeah. Eight energy. Delectable. Illusory strength. Gain four strength. Shuffle a delusion of strength into your draw pile. I mean, if I throw this poison potion, I'm still perfecting this fight. And that illusion of strength is fine. I'm not going to get to it. Draw pile is so thick. Oh, my Mori negate the next few curses you can obtain as well as another perfected strike. Has to be. Has to be. I'm not going to bother buying anything there. Got a battery core, scope core, laser core. Not bad, actually. Pretty good pickups. Aggregate in the opening hand as well. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with cycling both of those. Apparition before I jack so that I only lose one HP while playing it. We need some more draw in this deck now. This is 12, not enough times to be impactful. Mm. Mm. All right, fine. You got me, Sentry. Well done. A weak potion as well as anger overcharge, rebound turbo. Set up probe, infinite blades, havoc. Yikes. Guess I can take infinite blades. I've got the the gear here. It's not bad, I guess. Gain an energy and a burn to your hand. They'll all go into our discard pile, making our discard pile thicker. Extra energy. We do need extra energy. I'm actually gonna take the overcharge. Let's just get crazy with it, yo. Okay. Mind burst. If I throw a weakened potion at you, I can actually. Just ignore you this turn. Keep the wild strike. Damn. I'll use a skill potion to see if I get defense. I do not. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'll keep the wild strike. I am going to be taking three damage this turn. It's not that much, but still a little wary of it. This is why I want extra energy so that I can use cards like this effectively. Okay. And I'll keep the higher damage. It's definitely explore and then bullet time. It doesn't really matter what I do here. We're just going to be serving up some lethal chameleon ring. Your potions are now more potent. You can brew at rest sites. Excellent. That actually turned the fuel potion into an energy potion. I love that. Uh, Wall of Rust. Gain uh, nine block. Shovel the Curse of Rust into your draw pile. Eh. No. I actually put void in my discard pile. Sure. I'm never going to come back to it. So that's just some extra energy for me. I actually am a little bit interested in brewing rather than upgrading any of these cards. Get a death potion for dealing 70 and losing 10, and a smoke bomb that is not changed from its base. All right. I'm just going to hit him for as much damage as I can. Choose a card to retain. I guess I can retain the Omni Hammer. I haven't really got enough energy to make that much use of any of these things. I, I am a little worried here in terms of... I don't... I don't think I can win unless I just kill the Collector. 
Because it would take two perfected strikes to take out each of these. And that's th that's four different turns of just taking the collector's damage. I think if I focus on anyone else, I'm dead. I really thought stack was going to be more impactful. Should have been looking at it the entire time. All right, I'm actually going to hold stack. It's only going to get better each turn. Definitely aggregate first. Perfected, perfected. Accumulate a perfected. Retain the stack again. Vulnerability on the backline enemy is gone. Here's our apparitions, just in time. Get rid of precisely one of them. And I need to bullet time. We'll overcharge. Apparition. I don't need to block this turn. They do have Predator up. Okay. I'm really hopeful I get another Apparition, but if I don't, I can just, you know, Death Potion. It's fine. Okay, if I recycle the Omni Hammer, actually, if I recycle Reinforced Body, I get a bunch of energy back. Then I'll Jax. Affected Strike. Strike. Leap, Defend, and Stack in order to take as little damage here as is humanly possible. And we've got another perfected strike in the deck. So just kind of waiting on that one. And thankfully, these apparitions will get us there. And I can also just turbo Omni Hammer. Eh, didn't figure it would kill, but didn't matter either way, did it? I, we're going to get a garbage score, but I don't, I don't know if this is even going to be enough to kill the final boss. We're going to need more max HP by then. Attack potion, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Uh, probably not over any of those. Vile egg. Heal zero HP, add a random familiar to your hand. Upgrades. Eh. Put three days on top of your draw pile. Unfortunately, if it was in your discard pile, I'd be all about that hyper beam life right now, but it's not. Um, battery core is nice because it's a little bit of help for the fact that we have a lot of energy problems. Creative AI is nice as well because we have whenever we play a power heal for 2 HP, but I don't think we can stall effectively enough to make use of it. I think we've got to take the other potion there. Uh, I can't actually skip this, so I do have to drop something and take it. <laughs> well, Kintsugi and Empty Cage, both card removal. This, I would actually negate all of the effect of Omemori. I'd get to remove five cards from my deck. I would be so happy if we weren't playing this character. So instead, I'll be taking Sozu. You can no longer gain potions. That's really unfortunate for us, considering we have the Chameleon Ring, but we can't skip rewards. So, and I didn't want to thin out my deck. It is time to embrace being the thick boy I was born to be. For exactly one episode, and then I'm going to go back to... Or I'm just going to write back on my shit. I mean, I can keep the apparition or not. It's not going to matter. I really can't foresee a hand where we can't deal enough damage to kill. Junk laser, deal an additional three for all of your zero cost cards. Well, all right, let's have a look at that. We've one, two, three, four, five, six, and we add three to our deck at the start of each fight. So junk laser, six, nine, nine by three is 27. So that's, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we'll take a junk laser. And, uh, overclock, add a burn to your disco bar. It's not a bad thing for us, is it? We 
Okay. Stream Spoon. Can't switch Exhaust will, when played. Will instead discard 50% of the time. Not really good for us. I actually do really want Hologram. I think I want Sweet... Yeah, let's just take everything. Let's get thick. Oh, baby. Okay. So I get to Mind Burst, Hologram back the Mind Burst. A Mind Burst. Make you vulnerable. Back flip. Cool. Because I am retaining a card each turn, so... Drawing just before the end of a turn is fine for us. Easy. All right. Skill potion as well as no. Um, start of your turn. Add, draw two cards. Send a burn to your hand. No. Upgraded turbo is really in here. Start of your turn, you make copy a card in your hand. No. You're definitely taking the upgraded turbo. And another stack, naturally. They're, half of the time, they're a ridiculous defense for us. Uh, two madnesses? That does add some cards to my deck. That said, they're actually really garbage for me. I'll add the rise to my deck. And oh no, it got negated by a memory. What a shame. Ooh, could have seen that coming. It's an easy turbo for us. And Predator to make sure that I get the draw. All right. Oh, look at that bullet time. That's about to run wild. So hologram back the... Oh, where is it? My best. There we go. Then we'll... Bullet time... I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Another accumulate. I could. Or I could take the overclock. I'm actually kind of more interested in that at the moment. When drawn, gain two strength return and deal six damage. Yeah. Box of scraps. Draw two cards. Shuffle up to three trinkets into your draw pile. Well, those three trinkets... Those three trinkets, though. They're zero costs. They're going to make that junk laser better. I'd love to brew, but I can't brew. Damn. All right. If I can upgrade something to make it zero cost, I should do that as well. I do want hologram to be consistently usable. Ah, oh, but how many times am I going to go through my deck? That was a misplay on my part. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just upgraded the reinforce as I was looking at it. I am going to be drawing here, but every card I play is going to increase the amount of damage that each attack does to this enemy by 10%, so it's going to be worth it. Just got to retain. I guess I'll retain the box of scraps. Hmm. Whew. Oh, I even get to choose which trinkets I add. Excellent. Okay, we'll... Get prepared. As best we can, at least. I'll keep the hologram here. to happily bring back a upgraded perfected strike. Strike, wild, and perfected. Easy. Didn't have any vulnerability to apply there, unfortunately. Okay, spiky trinket. Easy. Definitely do as much draw as I possibly can first. Ooh. These turbos are going to be wild for us. 
Raven familiar, add a raven to your hand, removes all familiars. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, when I said those turbos are going to be wild, unfortunately, we didn't really get that much to do with them. We need expensive cards, damn it. Oh, speaking of expensive cards, let's go. Shiv. Turbo. Because Omni Hammer is now 27. 27 by set. Yeah, that's lethal. Yep. Whetstone upon pickup. Upgrade two random attacks as well as a steroid potion. Shrooms. Draw four cards. They have random costs for the turn. I could, though. It's also sneak up, gain an intangible, discard a random card, innate exhaust, and then the upgrade is to not discard. I mean, as long as we always play that on our first turn, we will be fully defended because of the anchor. I want the ability to get through my deck, though. Okay. Here I'll smith once more. I really want to smith this guard, but it does... I assume nothing. I quite frankly, can't tell. Actually, I probably should have upgraded the battery core. Oh, no, but I'm not going to go that far through the deck. Whenever you defeat an elite upgrade a random card. It's so difficult because I always think about things in terms of, oh, okay, this would be good because I'm going to go back through my deck this quickly or that quickly. But this bucks all those trends. Frustratingly. Mind. And we'll keep the hologram. Next turn, I'll hologram junk laser and kill the spiker in the front line. Okay. Don't need to heal here. Oh, I actually can just kill. I mean, I can play the self repair, but it's not necessary. Claw grip upon the end of each turn, retain a random cost at one. That random card, it costs one less energy next turn. That's actually not that bad for me. And. Take a headbutt, just another way of trying to put something back to the top of the deck to use it again. Let's make another card zero cost. Making that junk laser better. Tiny chest gain. Oh my god, it's another junk laser. I totally have to take it. And a pommel strike. That's another strike card. Hell yeah. And I should probably just buy more cards, frankly. Yeah, obviously aggregate. I can't believe it took me that long to take it. 62 cards in the deck so far. 65 in play. Not bad. Okay. I actually don't know which one this is keeping first. I think it's keeping the strike. So I'm going to keep the backflip. Yeah, no, I can see what claw grip is taking first. Good. Good, good, good. Strike and then overclock. And if I bullet time, I should just be able to murder now. Excellent. Accumulate got upgraded and also antivirus software. Every time you shuffle your deck, gain, a <laughs> gain an artifact. Whenever you draw a status, consume one artifact to exhaust it and all other status cards drawn this turn, drawing one card each time. Wild. Assemble a trinket out of four parts. Shuffle X copies of it into your draw pile. I mean, that's just... As much as Wild Strike is super thick deck as well, Assemble I've never gotten to play. I can't even afford any of the cards here. I also can't even buy potions, so... Damn. Smith once again. I'm not, by the way, if you're wondering, I'm not explaining any of the relics or anything like that. Sorry, any of the relics or, it's, I mean, I'm not explaining any of the cards because a lot of the cards are from a mob that I will never get to play because it just isn't updated for the current versions of the game. So it only kind of works in this environment. Four for all additional cards. That's actually a lot of damage. It's like an extra 10 or 20. Okay. Oh, it's so mind burst, hologram mind burst. I'm going to use the infernal flames. Oh, 
Okie dokie. It did it again. I imagine trying to give me another card that wasn't going to work. Damn. Um, I wonder if that RNG is seeded. I wonder if it'll do it this time. I kind of want to check. Basically, what I was really hoping for there was a card that would give vulnerability. Because if I had vulnerability on the enemy, then I might have been able to deal like half of their HP in the first turn. And that's honestly pretty damn solid. Come on, let's go. This, I fear, is probably going to be the only time I play this character because crashing ain't that great for online content. Oh, uh, it's, it's crashing on launch. Damn it. The Time Lord has actually hacked into my PC and is purposefully crashing this game because they know they ain't shit. Then nothing. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? Sh shut up. It's loading again. Here we go. I just need to not maniacally click. I think that's actually just a problem I brought up in the, the relaunch here. Yeah. Come on, just let the game load in. And then I can change back to the right screen. This is also a weird thing with my recording software. Like, it will detect the wrong window as the window that I should be watching. There we go. Let's continue. Hello, Time Lord. That's a lot. Uh, okay, yeah, we're not going to do that again. It worked half the time I played it over the course of the run, but, you know, it looks like we were getting lucky. And it also looks like possibly that RNG is actually quite seeded. Um, so it'll probably fail every time I try and do that exact same thing. <laughs> uh, this isn't a mod for public release, by the way. It's literally for this avenue. So that's why the edges have not been sanded off. Okay. There we go. Continue. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it this time. I was so tempted to immediately do it just to undercut myself, but I'm not going to do it. Attack potion. Attack potion is the exact same effect as... Uh, <laughs> as the Infernal Blade. So both of them are trying to generate cards that I can't play. Damn it. I can probably never play the attack potion this fight. That's really frustrating. Damn. Damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Daniel, back out again with the white vans. Oh, bring him back the vintage memes. Let's go. Everyone sat there like Mr. Krabs, super blurry. I see y'all. All right. Let's go for... Slay the Spire modded. Continue again. It's only taken 10 minutes. We're fine. <clears throat> All right, now we can actually start this fight. Mind burst. Hologram back the mind burst. A mind burst. Um, I'm going to gain two block. Right. Gain the energy, use the perfected strike, and then the stack. Uh, I guess I should actually recycle that. That's as much defense as I can get that turn. Another perfected strike in there. Nice. We'll draw with a backflip first, then bullet time. Actually, I'll prepare first. Well, unfortunately, I don't have time to use another prepared here. So I already knew what I wanted to keep. Enemy's not on half HP yet. Damn. Pair that burn out of our deck. Enemy is more vulnerable. Beautiful. To accumulate the... Junk Laser is actually way better than Perfected Strike right now. And there's, there's no competition. So let's get a second copy of that Junk Laser in the deck. Hit up a Predator as well as Lee. We're going to be keeping that. So... Pommel Strike. 
it is theoretically possible I kill this turn. Unlikely, but theoretically possible. Yeah, this hand's not going to do anything. Wowzers. Enemy's going to be purging this turn as well. All right, I'm going to play a bunch of cards here. It's the junk laser for a ridiculous amount of damage. Actually, death potion. Oh, we're just short. <laughs> Let's retain this junk laser, thank you very much. If only I could use this attack potion. All right. Can't make the enemy vulnerable right now, so it's got to be perfected junk. Strike and... Let's assemble as well. Gain an energy, gain an energy, and... Draw a card, draw a card. Cool. Those trinkets are really good. Can't wait to not get them. Thankfully, I still have an apparition in this deck, so I can just play that. Aggregate twice. And then I guess just Omni Hammer for offense. Oh, for the kill as well. So, yeah, we actually did get mad thick with that deck. As I imagined, kind of a garbage score. Oh, God. Please tell me there's no unlocks for this character. Oh, no. Well, there can't be because there's no... There's no unique cards for this character. Let's have a quick look to see... Okay, it doesn't have anything there, and it doesn't have a different starting set here. No. Excellent. That was the Hoarder by the Evil Pickle. You thought it was going to take me down, but I roll with the punches. I became the Thick Boy. It is Thick Boy season down here in Australia as well. It's winter. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay of Aspire. That has been the Horder mod. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.